Hi, and thanks for shopping Indian Zulu Etsy on Etsy or um, www.arkeshagraphics.com. This will be a short tutorial for the sublimation bench design template. So if you bought one of our templates, you can follow this video no matter which one it is. You can follow, follow this video to give you an understanding of how to use it in design space. If you have, if you use it in an, another program, you should be able to just open it in that, especially if it's a true graphic design program, such as Canva or Photoshop or Silhouette, one of the programs that do not change the size of the image once you open it. You know, once you open something in Design Space, the sizes automatically change. They're off. They're never true to size. So let's upload one of the. Um, design templates so we're just going to use this one here and it'll tell you because my images are large so it'll tell you um, that it's too large but you can press on and you want to click com complex and apply and continue and print then cut upload so again if, if you purchase from the site you'll know these images are large and it comes with they come with instructions to download. Instructions for sizing and everything. So as you see, once you pull it in Cricut, it's going to be huge. I'm just going to resize it so we can be able to work with it. If this is the small design template, you should be able to resize just the whole thing and work with it based on the measurements that um, came with the download. Because off the top, I don't know what the full measurement is for the whole um, design. But I know this one, you will probably need to split or slice apart to be able to work with. So if you buy one of the templates that has words on it, then you'll know that this is not... Um, you cannot customize the words. You can only add a name and add a photo. That is how these um, are sold. If they have words on it, they will not be able to be customized. So, okay, once you get it small enough to where Cricut is not giving you a fit because it's too large, then you can work, start working on slicing it apart. And how we're going to do that is we're going to grab shapes and I'm just going to start with a square shape and I'm going to unlock it so I can control the width and the height myself. I'm just going to angle it a bit because this top is comes up into where the bottom is so I can't just pull it across there because I would cut that. So I'm going to have to angle this and then just pull it over like so. And make sure it's covering that leg, that whole leg, and not touching anything else. And I'm going to select both of those and then hit slice. I'm just going to pull this over to the other side. And pretty much do the same thing. And select these both and slice. So we can get rid of that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Now we can, we can attach these two. So these two are attached. Now we need to work on separating these two. Same method. Grab the shape, unlock it. Then I'm just going to cover either the top or the bottom. Select both and then slice. Okay, now before you go adding your stuff or whatever, you want to go by the measurements that came with the um, template. So if the top, the top and the bottom are usually going to be the same measurements. So for instance, if the top says is six inches wide you just want to change whichever the instructions tell you just that one because and leave it locked 
because the other one will change automatically. So if you do that, you could change that to six inches wide, and then you could change. We just change the width on this. So for instance, if it the instruction said change the width, change the width. If it says change the height, change the height only, but keep the the, um, the dimensions locked up here so it doesn't change anything else. So if it says six, then you change it to six. And then all you need to do, let's grab, let's grab a photo. Let's just say this is the photo. And with the legs, you're going to leave them both the same. So if the legs told you seven, then you just change whatever the, whatever it was it told you for the legs. If it said, a, if it gave you an individual um, size for the leg, then you'll, you'll um, detach these and then change the legs individually. But I think um, this template calls for, the, gives you the size for both the legs attached. So if we're going to use this, just for instance, say this was your picture. I'm going to size it down just a little bit. I'm just going to place it over that heart, and then we're going to send it to the back. So then you fix it where you would like it, and then you just um, click this one, and you want to click text. And I'm not going to cancel it. I'm not going to I'm just make this white. I'm going to just leave it text, as text. And then you can put whatever you like over here for the text. If you make the name, you know, a little smaller, or if you want to stretch it out, keep in mind over here in this area, you can't see it because it's already pre-designed, so you don't have any issues. Or if you want to add stuff up here, just make sure you stay within this area because the um, holes are over here. So you can add a name here. You can add a date up here. You can add whatever you want to add to this. And then you just print. You don't have to worry about this being up here or this being down there. If you want to cut that off, then you just grab your shape and slice that off. Because that won't show up on your bench anyway. Because this um, template is designed to give you a little overhang to cover the whole bench. So this right here will not show up. And then you just print. And make sure you, when you hit print, you reverse or you flip. So it's backwards and then print. Don't print it like the correct way where you can read it. It needs to be reversed before you print. And that's it. So just size appropriately according to the instructions that came along with your design template. And then both slice and then um, size accordingly. And then put your photo in, your text in, and that's it. I hope this helps. And thanks for shopping with us. I should also say that if if um, when you're working in design space, you know that they give you print limitations. So if, if you can't print all of this together, it's going to print separately when you click make anyway. So, but you want to make sure whatever you add to this image, Whatever you're putting in here, you want to make sure you attach it or flatten it. If you flatten it, um, like I said on my other tutorial, I can't remember. I hadn't used um, Design Space in a long time. But I do remember when I did use it, if you flattened and save the image, when you come back to it, you could not move the ele extra elements that you added to it. But if you attach it, and then save then you can come back and detach and move the stuff around so just keep that in mind like if you flatten the image i think that's permanent once you save and exit out of that image you cannot control z to back 
to um, step back and undo that. If I remember correctly. It may have changed since I've used it. But just keep that in mind. So once you put everything in place. Just say for instance this. You want to make sure you attach it. I think it's already attached. No, it's not. You want to attach that. And any text or any dates or anything extra you add, make sure you attach. Because, let's control Z, let me step back. If I don't attach and hit make, then it's going to move everything around. It's going to leave all of that together and move everything around. So, let's cancel. And once I click this and attach, click text and attach. And these are already attached. Then hit make. Then it's going to keep your photo where you had it. And on the image where you added the text, it's going to keep everything in place for you to print. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Thanks. I hope this helps.